chance to ride one yet, but when it comes to park, does it lock in the upright position? It's very interesting. I mean, it's not a car, it's not an ATV, it's not a motorcycle, and it drives like uh, neither of these things. Uh, and you get uh, a very uh, unique uh, um, performance, both on the street and off-road. I do both. I'm a customer of my own company, so I use it both on the street and as an off-roader. Uh, and uh, for instance, uh, um, when you drive it straight, uh, you have uh, a, a huge uh, handling, uh, much higher handling than anything you are used, uh, either coming from uh, as a rider or coming as a driver, and uh, very precise, uh, very comfortable. Uh, whatever obstacle there is on the street, uh, the vehicle will uh, sort of uh, go through it without any particular uh, discomfort. Uh, by the way, the vehicle has a double uh, rear traction, so both rear wheels are uh, connected to the uh, powertrain and there is a mechanical uh, slip differential inside the uh, powertrain, which by the way is our powertrain, that allows it to have a constant grip and a higher level of grip on the road. So therefore, when you are um, driving straight, you have this uh, a connection with the street uh, that uh, it's always there even in moments that you wouldn't think it was there uh, coming from a two-wheel or even coming from a four-wheel or even uh, as an ATV. Then um, when you curve uh, the vehicle wants to uh, sort of uh, rebalance yourself so you don't need speed to control the vehicle on a, on a curve and then you have like a sort of a hand pushing you back into position when you are back on a on a straight course really it's difficult to explain it in fact uh, it's addictive it's addictive driving um, and uh, uh, we suggest uh, the customers to drive it at least for a day so we have this experience uh, cooler experience uh, program for which uh, you must uh, uh, before buying it, you must absolutely test it uh, for at least a day, better for a weekend, so you really understand the uh, value added of the problem. Then, uh, off-road. Off-road is incredible because uh, uh, any kind of asperity, even the rougher one, uh, are uh, um, sort of uh, bypassed by the uh, independent suspensions of each wheel, which enters the uh, whatever hole you have in front, or pot hole, or um, uh, you have in front uh, the, the vehicle will enter the particular pothole but you will still be in control of the vehicle so the vehicle uh, um, uh, gets all the asperities and the suspension gets all the asperities of uh, uh, the, the riding and, and you have a very smooth driving even if you are in, uh, in incredible distress uh, from a vehicle point of view and uh, the um, rear traction allows you to have always a wheel in grip so always uh, uh, a sensation that even uh, when, uh, for instance, uh, you, you find like water or mud or something that like sort of uh, makes you lose control or uh, uh, don't get a grip on the road, you have the other one uh, getting a grip on the road. So incredible, incredible off-road capabilities. Um, I've driven an ATV. ATV has, has good, very good off-road capabilities, but the handling is horrible and the, um, uh, it's not very nimble because it's you know four wheels on the road and therefore uh, you get the space, the size of the road that uh, makes you sort of uncomfortable. And also if you turn an ATV, you have to be careful as uh, very well known. With our vehicle, you have, uh, I, would get, I would say, more performance, more off-road performance on ATV, uh, but you will have the uh, nimbleness and the uh, sort of uh, um, control of the vehicle that you will have of a car of a, uh, even much better than a motorcycle. So again, uh, it's, it's, not, it's neither of these, these things, but at the same time provides you the, uh, an incredible performance on all the uh, road conditions.